If you've watched the Muslim demographics video on YouTube, and many millions have, you might have wondered whether the statistics presented in it are reliable. On BBC Radio 4's More or Less, we decided to take a closer look. Here's what we found. The video says no culture has reversed a 1.9 fertility rate. It lists fertility rates in France, England, Greece, Germany, Italy and Spain. Each is, it says, below 1.9. The real fertility rates are a little higher than the video suggests, and though low, they are rising. In 1995, Italy's fertility rate was 1.19. By 2006, it was 1.35. In 1998, Spain's fertility rate was 1.16. By 2007, it was 1.4. In 2001, the United Kingdom's fertility rate was 1.63. By 2007, it was 1.92, the highest rate for 34 years. These are the total fertility rates. That's the average number of children a group of women would have if they experienced the age-specific fertility rates observed in a particular period through their childbearing life. But the age-specific fertility rate can change from one year to the next, so demographers are very cautious about projecting future fertility trends from current age-specific rates. The video claims that 90% of Europe's population growth since 1990 has been down to Islamic immigration. EU statistics show that, although in some years 90% of population growth has been down to inward migration, it is typically between 60 and 80% in any given year, but that includes all immigrants, not just Muslims. The video says that a typical French family has 1.8 children, but that French Muslim families have 8.1 children. We haven't found a source for that statistic, but we do know that in Algeria and Morocco, the two nations which send the largest numbers of Muslim immigrants to France, the fertility rate is just 2.38. And demographers say the fertility rate of an immigrant population will tend to move towards that of the indigenous population over time. The video states that in France, 30% of children aged 20 or younger are Muslim, and that in cities like Marseille, that number has grown to 45%. In 39 years, the video says, France will be an Islamic Republic. That's a bold claim, since France doesn't collect data on religious affiliation. I'm pretty sure you can find a part of Marseille, probably quite a large tract of Marseille, in which that is true. The question is, what's that telling us? Is it telling us something about Muslim fertility, or is it simply telling us that there are a lot of Muslims in that part of Marseille, that the Muslim population is geographically segregated or geographically concentrated? And what about the claim that the Muslim population of Britain has risen 30 times over the last 30 years, from 82,000 to 2.5 million? There is very little hard data on the number of Muslims in Britain. The only reasonably hard figure we've got is that from the 2001 census where a question was asked on religious belief. And they counted 1.6 million Muslims in Britain in 2001. That figure has likely increased since then. Whether it's increased to 2.5 million, I don't know. Probably not quite. So the 2.5 million is a slight overestimate. What's more interesting is the 82,000 30 years ago, because that seems to me to be an underestimate. In other words, they're starting from a smaller base. And so, of course, the growth rate seems to be much higher than it really is. In 1981, if you take the 1981 census, there was no question asked on religious belief in 1981. But if you take those born in, say, Pakistan and Bangladesh as a sort of minimum estimate of the number of Muslims uh, in 1981, it's about 300,000. According to the video, half of all newborns in the Netherlands are Muslim, and in 15 years, half the population will be Muslim. But the Dutch Office of Statistics estimates that Muslims make up only 5% of the population. So for Dutch Muslim women to produce half the nation's babies, they would have to be giving birth at around 14 times the rate of their non-Muslim neighbours. The video says there are 23 million Muslims in Russia and that the Russian army will be 40% Muslim in a few short years. 
Russia isn't the same as the European Union nations we've discussed so far because it brought Muslim regions like the North Caucasus into the Russian state hundreds of years ago. So there's been a large Muslim population in Russia for a long time. The precise size of that population is hard to know because there's no reliable data. The video says 23 million. The CIA says between 14 and 21 million. The claim that within a few years the Russian army will be 40% Muslim is more dubious. Russian military expert Dr Jonathan Eel describes it as complete poppycock. Because the Russian government is committed to ending conscription, he says, it's more likely that Muslims will be underrepresented in the future. Is 25% of the Belgian population Muslim, as the video then states? No. The Belgian Office of Statistics directed us to a 2008 study which shows that the current number is just 6%. The German Federal Statistics Office has, according to the video's next claim, stated that Germany will be a Muslim nation by the year 2050. The video attributes that statement to the then Vice President of the German Federal Statistics Office, Walter Rademacher. Mr. Rademacher is now the European Union's chief statistician. We called him, and he told us that not only has he been misquoted, he had actually been arguing against that view. The quotation, which reads as if the German government believed that Germany would become a Muslim state, is simply not true. There is no source which can be quoted that the German government has published such kind of an expression or opinion. So I feel very mad. It's the situation where you as a statistician feel very uncomfortable because the message of the publication has been turned upside down. I think this is the worst way to, to use statistical uh, data. The video also claims the German government has stated that the number of Muslims in Europe will double to 104 million in 20 years. No, that is not true. The German government does not believe uh, that uh, the Muslim population will double in the next 40 or 50 years. There are no reliable sources that give a proof for that assumption. The video makes a claim that between 2001 and 2006, Canada received 1.2 million immigrants. The correct figure is 1.1 million. But the important point is that the figure refers to all immigration, not just Muslim immigration. There were, according to the video, 100,000 Muslims in America in 1970. There are now, it says, over 9 million. The U.S. Census doesn't collect data on religious affiliation, but staff at the U.S. Census Bureau referred us to a study conducted by the Pew Research Center in 2007, which estimates there to be 2.35 million Muslims in the United States. The video is, however, right to state that the Catholic Church says Islam has surpassed its membership. In 2008, the Vatican newspaper reported that 19.2% of the world's population is Muslim and 17.4% Catholic. It reported that Christians as a whole make up 33% of the world's population. We've tried to test the reliability of the statistics in the Muslim demographics video as fairly as possible. Some are hard to check because we don't know where the numbers came from in the first place. Others are more or less correct. Some are plain wrong. Population projection is an inexact science. No one knows how many Muslims will be living in Europe or anywhere else by 2050. But if we want to make a sensible prediction, we need to find the most accurate data available and then treat that data with very great care. The makers of the Muslim demographics video did neither.